think I can learn to drive a gub as well as you do in just one easy lesson? Hi, matey. Tonight, I'm going to teach you everything I know. And then I'll surprise everyone with my advanced gub driving skills. Ah, uh, just one thing. Let's not wake up Tweak. No need to worry her about us taking out the gubs for a little driving lesson. Right. Let's go. Oh. Shh. Sorry. After you. Now, I'll take cup B, and you, shall it in? Oh, uh, sorry. Shh. <laughs> I'll take cup B, you take cup D, and remember, just do everything that I do. Shellington! Yes, I'm coming! Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not bad! You're driving like a real swashbuckler! Now, remember, watch closely and do as I do, matey! <laughs> Jumping jellyfish! That's impressive! Your turn! Just put your paws on that steering wheel and go super fast! Right! Uh, that's not what I did. Uh, Alright, let's try it again. Uh, turn yourself back over, matey. Now, watch me again and do exactly what I did. Just do exactly what Quasi does. I did it! Alright, well, we've crashed the gups, but it doesn't look like we did much damage. Uh, oh, whoops. Should we sound the octo alert? What? No! Uh, Tweak's not the only one who can fix gups, especially when all they're missing is a few thingamy bobs. Here's what we need, the emergency toolkit. Uh, do you really think we can make the repairs ourselves? Of course. We'll have these gups fixed up faster than you can say, um, batcha, scratchy, catchy cat paws. Oh, well, uh, I guess the first thing to do is to find the missing parts. Exactly me plan, matey. First, we find the... Look, I've already found my steering wheel. See, this is going to be easy. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't just let go. Why not? I'm a moray eel. Once I bite down on something, I can't open my jaws unless I swallow whatever it is I'm bitten down on. And I'm sure you don't want to swallow a steering wheel. No, I don't. Don't worry, matey. A little help here, Shillington. Gotcha. Well, thanks. My name's Murray. And you guys are? Shellington and Quasi. Now, let's put this back where it belongs. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. I'll fix that with nothing more than with bare paws. Great work, Quasi. Listen, I don't mean to be nosy, but what are you guys doing out here on the reef at night anyway? Ah, uh, we had a bit of an accident. And we've lost some parts of our gups. We won't be able to go home until we find them and put them back on. None of my business, of course, but how many parts are we talking about here? Oh, good question. Let's make a list. Two orange rivets, two yellow rivets, one headlamp cover, one green console button, five carrots and one spring coil. Oh, that's a lot of little parts. And this reef has a lot of nooks and crannies and a lot of ways to get lost and never be found. If you know what I mean. I see what you mean, matey. But we'll just have to search every cranny. And nook. Listen, I don't want to be pushy, but here's a little advice. If you want to succeed out here on the reef, you need to work with the right fish at the right time. You've got to cooperate. The only fish we know on the reef is you, matey. Then you're in luck. Come on, I'll introduce you to some pals of mine. So, Trooper, what do you say? Will you and the guys help my new friends find what they're looking for? <sighs> I don't know, Murray. We're groupers. We usually hunt for food at night on the reef, not little gut parts. 
Do you have any fish biscuits on you? What? Oh, yes, I do. We have food. And there's more where that came from. I've got a big stash of fish biscuits in the gut B. And you can have every last crumb if you help us find our parts. Ooh, you got yourself a deal. OK, fellas, let's show them how we work. We eels don't see too well, so Trooper here and the rest of the groupers spot the food. Or in this case, a piece of your gut. But sometimes the thingy is inside a little crevice between the rocks. We groupers can see it, but we can't get to it. So we signal the eels like this. <laughs> yeah. And we going after it. More eels are experts at getting in and out of tight grips. And that, gentlemen, is how it's done. Lovely jubbly. Fascinating. You groupers and eels cooperate when you hunt. We sure do. Sounds like we're ready for Operation Cooperation. Yeah, that's catchy, that is. <laughs> <laughs> catchy. <laughs> Shooter. We can't go back without that. And we need to hurry so we can get to the octopod before morning. Uh-oh. I saw your coil, but it's nowhere groupers or eels will ever go. Are you talking about... Uh-huh. Stinger Rock? <sighs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. What Stinger Rock? That Stinger Rock. It's a rock covered with anemones, and they sting big time. Big time. <sighs> I bet Tweak would come up with the perfect thing to pry that spring loose without getting stung. Hi, Kitty. Then we'll just have to think like Tweak. OK, so it's not as cool as something Tweak would make, but this doohickey should do that tricky. Good luck, Quasi. Excuse me, anemones. Almost got it. It's coming loose. It's... <laughs> we got, got it. Fellas, that's how you do it. That's real cooperation. Now, let's go fix that carrot shooter and get back to the octopod before everybody wakes up. <laughs> It's fixed. The gups are looking good. we better head back. It's almost morning. Thanks, Murray and Trooper. We couldn't have done it without help from you groupers and eels. Yeah, looks like Operation Cooperation was a success. It was a pleasure doing business with you, gents. Follow me, Shelton, and be careful. Aye, aye, Quasi. <laughs> You're up early. <laughs> yep. Looks like you two been out on a little old adventure. Uh, but we're back, and uh, as you can see, these gops are in perfect condition. <laughs> oh, in perfect condition. Not a scratch on them. Oh. Uh-huh. Looks like your steering wheel's a little loose there. <laughs> <laughs> What did I miss? Don't worry, Cap. We'll fix up those gups faster than you can say. <laughs> Bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. <laughs> hey, so, be sure to keep an eye on your little brother. We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. 
Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission, and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Rinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not, as long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! <laughs> I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say, ah. Uh. I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me... A stethoscope, a thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the octopod. Anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah. Oh. A tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The Naka what? The Nakawak. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Nakawak comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal. But none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Um, oh, I'd love to play, but I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep-sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters! Look! Over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi! Right into that Nakawak's lair! Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. 
Inkling! Captain! Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <coughs> Sound the Octo Alert! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonaut, who sounded the octo alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster. It was right outside Professor Inkling's window and... Ah, we have to get back to the octopod now. Hang on. Long tail? Red spikes, silvery skin? Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish! An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto, I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto? Where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. <laughs> Stop! Pinto, what do you think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster, it's an oarfish, and... <gasps> wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. Listen, he's crying. Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Orfish, are you all right? Oh, no, I feel awful. Why did you follow us back to the octopod? Oh, I wouldn't usually, I'm kind of shy. But when I saw you take care of that other fish, I thought maybe you could help me too. Of course I'll help. What's wrong? Oh, my throat, it really hurt. And I'm the longest fish in the ocean, so that's a lot of throat. OK, let's have a look. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Wider, please. Ah. Whoa! A vast! It's the Nakawak! And it's got peso. We have to save him. Your throat is all red. I think all you have is a bad cold. Why don't we... Yeah! Don't worry, Peso. I won't let the knackerwag hurt me, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, Quasi. False alarm. This isn't a knackerwag. Huh? It's an oarfish. The longest fish in the ocean. <coughs> you mean you weren't trying to eat Peso here? Ah, of course not. I only eat tiny things, and besides, I don't have any teeth. Luke! Ah. I knew that. Now we just have to work out how to fit him into the sick bay. Amazing! The oarfish can keep his body straight up while he swims. Teal looks good down here. How do things look up there, Peso? Looks good, Tweak. Ah, oh, I'm feeling better already. He is incredibly long. I can see why you might think he was a sea monster, Quasi. Yep. My brother's a hero, all right. He helps any creature who's sick or hurt, from the smallest fish to the longest. And look, Pindo, I took that picture you wanted of him so you can show your friends. <laughs> yeah! The last one to the cave is a rotten fish egg! Hey, wait for us, Quasi. Slow down. Shiver me, Whiskers. 
sorry, mateys. I, I just can't wait to go monster hunting in these old mysterious caves. Not monster hunting, Quasi. Fossil hunting. Fossils? Oh, who wants to look for a bunch of boring old rocks? <laughs> well, I do. Fossils aren't just rocks, Quasi. They're made from the remains of creatures that lived long ago. See? Still looks like a bunch of old rocks to me. Thanks, Tunip. If we find any big fossils, we'll need you to bring in the work lights, okay? <laughs> Octonauts, let's find some fossils. <laughs> Finding anything. Fossil collecting takes patience. Just move any loose rock and check carefully. Flappity flippers. <gasps> Peso, you found a fossil. I did? Yes, and it's a very impressive one too. Tunip, better bring in the lights. Well done, well done. Eight fins, thick scales, a tail with three parts. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! This is the fossil of a coelacanth! A what? what what? A coelacanth! They lived 65 million years ago, back with the dinosaurs. But there aren't any around today. This fossil is an amazing discovery. In that case, we should remove it carefully and take it back to the octopod to study. Yeah. Who turned out the lights? But how did that come unplugged? There's no one in these caves but us, is there? <gasps> the fossil! What happened to it? It appears our fossil has disappeared. <gasps> A tail with three parts, just like the fossil. <laughs> huh? What is it, Quasi? I know what happened to the fossil. You do? It came to life and swam away. Um. Uh, Quasi, fossils used to be living things, but now they're just rocks. They can't come to life. They can if the fossil is really... A jumping jangle bones! J j j jumping jangle bones? According to pirate tales passed down by me granddad, Calico Jack. Jumping jangle bones, a spooky fish that look like rocks. But they come to life and try to scare you away when you get too close to the places where they like to hide. Places like these sea caves. Hmm. I've never heard of a jumping jangle bones, but one thing's certain. Something took that fossil, and we're going to find out what it was. Octonauts, to your stations! Octonauts, something or someone has taken the coelacanth fossil we found in this cave. A coelacanth fossil? A very rare discovery. I do hope you're able to find it. Captain, I've been watching the cave and nothing else has gone in or out since you've been in there. Then the fossil and whatever took it are still in here with us. Keep an eye on the cave and let us know if anything comes out. Thanks, Dashy. Right, let's split up and search the cave. Everyone, pick a tunnel. Aye, and watch out for the jumping jangle bones. Right, you bony beast. I know you're in here somewhere. Ah I've got you now, you ghostly. Get back here. You can't outsmart me, you jumping. Peso, nothing to be afraid of. There's no such thing as jumping jangles. Hello? It's it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Wait! 
took the fossil is heading this way. Everyone, keep your eyes open for anything that looks like... Whoa! What was that? Barnacles to Octonauts. I think I hear something up ahead. I think I hear something too. So do I. Me too. It sounds like it's right around this corner. Whoa! Octonauts! So it was just you I heard. Yeah, and that's just my tail you're squishing. Oops, sorry, Quasi. Looks like it is only us in here. Aye, it's only us and him. Wait. This way. I think I see something. It's, it's... What? What? The fossil. Jumping jangle bones must have turned back into stone before we could catch it. But Quasi, jumping jangle bones aren't real. Oh, how else do you explain how the fossil moved in here by itself? Hmm, good question. It's still a mystery. <gasps> um, I'm starting to think you guys just don't believe my monstery tales. What is it, Peto? The, the fossil. It's alive. The fossil's alive. <gasps> Fossils alive! <laughs> oh, sorry everyone, my fault. I didn't mean to frighten no one. I wasn't frightened, just uh, stretching my legs. Are you a jumping jungle bones? Uh, no, sorry. I'm just a coelacanth. But that's impossible. Coelacanths haven't been around since the dinosaurs. We are still around. We like to stay out of sight, though. Keep to ourselves. Fascinating. A real-life coelacanth. I can't believe my eyes. But why did you move that fossil? Oh, right. Sorry. It's just... I'm kind of shy, and I'm not used to visitors in my cave. I just thought that if I hid the fossil, you'd lose interest and leave. Well, unless we can get past these rocks, we're never going to be able to leave. Looks like we might need some backup. Barnacles to Dashy, come in Dashy. Ah, we must be too deep in the caves to make radio contact. No worries, mateys. We'll just dig ourselves out. We don't want any more rocks to fall. One, wait! I've never seen such a big fish move like that. <laughs> it helps to have eight fins and a big tail. But doesn't that hurt? Oh, not at all. My scales are super tough, like armour. Hmm. Do you think you could swat away these rocks while we dig ourselves out? Uh, I think I could manage that. Keep going, everyone. Just a little bit further. Yeah. He's amazing. Like an acrobat. That's why we could catch him. You mean that rock you thought was me? Right here. Catch! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help back there. And sorry again about disturbing your cave. <laughs> we didn't think anyone was home, let alone a real living coelacanth. Ah, don't worry about it. But next time, be careful who you call a fossil. <laughs> <laughs> Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to the launch bay! <laughs> 